Today we are with uh, Professor Francesco Di Virgilio. He teaches uh, pathology at the University of uh, Ferrara and is a great expert worldwide uh, in uh, inflammation and uh, purinergic receptors. So, Professor Di Virgilio, can you tell us something about uh, your research career? How did it start and why did you become a scientist? Well, <clears throat> it's not an easy answer to give, but uh, to make it very short. Um, well, by education I'm a medical doctor, but when I started my undergraduate studies, I did not want to become a scientist, but I want to become a surgeon. Then I spent almost a year in the surgery department, and of course I enjoyed it, but uh, more I enjoyed the perspective to try to understand in, uh, in depth the mysteries and the intricacies of um, living organisms. So I slowly shifted from uh, surgery, from patients, to experimental models and mm. to basic science. So we may say that curiosity is uh, the thing that drove this uh, choice in your life. Uh, in one way, I think that that's, yeah. that's correct. Can you explain us what inflammation is? Inflamm inflammation is a basic homeostatic mechanism which oversees all kind of responses in our body against any kind of danger, any kind of possible injury coming from both outside and inside our body. If I may say, inflammation is the very basic primordial defense mechanism that uh, over the year evolved to become very complicated and uh, very sophisticated system of defense, mm. but basically the, the basis the rationale for inflammation is the defense of our body. Yeah, that's really interesting, I would say. So it's something that is essential in uh, our daily life to survive. What's the link between purinergic receptors and inflammation? The basic of uh, purinergic signaling is the ability of uh, the cells in our body to be activated by extracellular ATP. Extracellular ATP is the, the main extracellular messenger that is active in purinergic signaling. Mm -hmm. And um, ATP is an ubiquitous intracellular energy store as well as an ubiquitous extracellular messenger. Therefore, in our body, every time there is a damage, every time immune cells are activated, every time cancer cells interact with our immune system, ATP leaks out of the cells or is actively released. Therefore, in the extracellular environment, in many, many, many conditions, there is a huge increase of extracellular ATP. ATP, by all means and purposes, can be considered a very potent pro-inflammatory activator, pro-inflammatory mediator, more or less like histamine, more or less like uh, serotonin, more or less mm -hmm. like cytokines. So extracellular ATP is very closely related to mm -hmm. all defense responses and therefore also the receptors for extracellular ATP, the purinergic receptors. So <clears throat> can we use this knowledge to develop therapies uh, in the future or are there uh, therapies uh, that uh, already act on uh, purinergic receptors? Strictly speaking, in inflammation and immunity there are as yet no drugs available on the market. However, on the experimental side, in clinical studies, there are about there are over 100 clinical trials focused on the investigation of the 
modulation of purinergic signaling, especially for the therapy of cancer. Therefore, yes, although there are as yet no commercially available drugs based on purinergic signaling to treat inflammation and cancer, still there are many, many experimental studies that uh, may suggest that uh, in not very far future there might be drugs for the treatment of major human diseases. So we can be optimistic about developing uh, new therapies on purinergic receptors? Possibly. I sincerely wish that uh, your statement will come true and we will do our best to fulfill your, okay. your, your expectations. Okay, thank you very much.